Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Okay, this week we pick up right where we left off last week, leaving our yurt and the Grand Tetons and heading northeast to West Yellowstone. Along the way, we tried to capture as much footage as we could of all this really beautiful landscape. When we arrived in West Yellowstone, we weren't able to immediately check in, so we decided to shoot some photos of the town while we waited. Okay guys, we finally made it to the town of West Yellowstone. That town is located half a mile away from the west entrance to Yellowstone National Park. We, got, we arrived, ate some food, <laughs> much needed showers from the lack of a shower at the yurt, and headed back out into the park. So I've got my Leica M5. I'm gonna shoot the 35, 50, and 90. I'm gonna hopefully be happy I brought the 90 today because the, one of the goals is to capture some wildlife and I have a feeling it's gonna be at distance and that 90 should come in handy. Danny will be shooting her Nikon F3 with a 35 Distagon lens as well as a 50 Planar lens. Also, if you wanna check out some of Danny's favorite images from today, be sure to hang out to the end of the video and I'll roll those there. Okay, let's get into the park and see if we can find some wildlife or Old Faithful, which one will happen first? Let's see. All right, so I was gonna shoot with the 35, but I think it's gonna be too wide. So I'm gonna throw the 50 on, and if I need the 90, I'll do it. All right, so another pull off. I went ahead and switched to the 90 because what I want to photograph is quite far in the distance. We rode by Old Faithful and it was a line as far as you could see. So we're going to pick other interesting points off with the 90 Elmer at F2.8. Okay. First of all, Danny and I both agree we're not big fans of geysers. I mean, I can see the interest in them, unless it's at sunset, that would be really difficult to capture and make it look really interesting. So I hope you like the images. It was really tough composition and lighting. So got some gas driving along. All of a sudden Danny's like, there's a bison. So we're gonna walk over there, try to grab a shot and not get run over by this animal. So there is this amazing building right by the uh, bison, but I'm, I still have the 90 on, so it's a really tight crop. I think we found the cheat code for Old Faithful. We went to the Old Faithful Inn and we saw Old Faithful erupting in the distance. We're walking there now. All right, that's it. So we just missed it and it takes an hour to reset is what someone just told us. Disappointing, yeah, but at least we saw where it was at. 
All right, so this was a successful stop, I think, I hope, because I've been feeling bad about the shots today. It's one of those days, and I'm sure all of you go through it, where you feel like you're just not, you can't get a shot, you don't see the compositions, but thankfully the sun came out. There was amazing wildlife, this bison, what a beautiful beast. And yeah, I'm excited. I feel like I redeemed myself. So now let's hit the road, head back towards West Yellowstone and see if there's any other wildlife in the field. Hopefully so. I wanna see a moose so bad, it's insane. Well, we didn't see any moose, but we did capture an image of these bison bathing in a stream at sunset. What a beautiful place. And that was it for the day and for West Yellowstone. Tomorrow, we wake up early and head to Devil's Tower. As promised, here are some of Danny's favorite images on the day. <laughs> 